Hey, so I'm making this video to explain my theory that is in the works. I had a comment stating that I'm deceiving people and misquoting scripture. I also watched a video from someone that made sense to me. I'm not a preterist. That's where someone believes the Bible has all happened. And the millennial kingdom was spiritual. I can see why that can be dangerous for Christians. I don't want Christians to think they don't have to worry about tribulation or anything that happens during that. I want to make this clear. I love God and 100% believe the Bible. I do not want to deceive anyone or misquote the Bible. If I don't say an entire verse, it is because a lot of people will know what I'm talking about or I'm just being sloppy. I am sorry. I will try to stop doing that. I am human. I make mistakes. I'm not trying to be a prophet or a teacher or anything special. I just want to share my opinions and talk about interesting oddities from the false history we've been taught. I believe there is a massive chance that the thousand-year reign of Christ already physically happened. I still plan on making videos on that. I think we are in Satan's little season spoken about in Revelation chapter 20. That would mean that judgment is next to happen. I have no idea when, obviously. The thing about this is, that which has been is what will be, that which is done is what will be done. And there is nothing new under the sun. Ecclesiastes chapter 1, verse 9 So, everything that happened before the millennial kingdom could happen again. It could be an elaborate deception by the elites to make us think tribulation is about to start or just Satan trying the same thing again. Just a little differently. I don't know. I think it is extremely interesting to talk about, research, and share. I believe there is a lot of reasons to think this theory may be close to correct or might just be wrong altogether. We'll find out the truth eventually. I just don't really know why so many Christians are attacking each other. I understand calling out false teachers and false prophets, but this theory isn't even a salvation issue and it might be true. The main thing for all to do is focus on our Lord Jesus Christ. Give God thanks and praise because He is worthy and He loves you. Show your love for Him by believing and doing good works. Thank you for listening, and God bless you and your families.